What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This film came out in 2018 and it was directed by J.A. Bayona and stars Chris Pratt. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify every video. Let's just start. Let's start talking about the good. So Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard are pretty good in the film. Um, they're... I felt the same way about them as I did in the Jurassic World film. So they were they were good in the film. Um, one character played by Justice Smith. Um, I'll talk about him later, but I did not enjoy his character that much. Um, the action sequences, once again, are fantastic. Um, the designs of the dinosaurs, once again, is phenomenal. There is a new dinosaur in this film called the Endoraptor. Um, and it looks fantastic. Um, it's, of course, smaller than the Indominus Rex, um, but for me, it was two times scarier than the Indominus Rex. Um, there are a lot of tense sequences within this film, especially when you get into that third act of the film, where um, the, Indo the Indoraptor is chasing uh, the main characters inside of the Lockwood estate. I love those sequences because they're dark and tense and very creepy at times. Um, and of course, um, the story, um, again, I'll talk about the story later on. So now let's move on to the bad. So there are, there's actually one character in this film that I did not really enjoy um, it was Justice Smith's character. He was screaming for about 30 minutes of the film. It's just him screaming. And those sequences were just very, very annoying. They tried to make it comedic, but it never worked. It just came off as very annoying. Um, the new characters also don't have anything um, memorable about them. It's just another guy, but this time they want he wants to um, sell the dinosaurs at an auction, um, and that sequence. Okay, so a lot of sequences in this film don't make that much sense. The dinosaurs are taken from, I think, the Jurassic World Park. I believe was either Isla Nublar or Isla Sorna, one of those two. And they're taken to another island, one of those two. Um, but what doesn't make sense is how would the dinosaurs that are in the basement of the Lockwood Estate, how would no one hear those dinosaurs and as well as not hearing the Indominus Rex just running around the house, basically? How did they think that they were going to keep caged animals underneath there and how could they not hear them? That was one of the aspects that really um, that really did not work for me because it just doesn't make sense. They must have heard something, and to be honest, they should have been um, the characters should have been way better in this film. They just came off as just the regular dull characters in action films. The rest of them, the characters are just there. I did not find any of them interesting, um, and. While I like the directing, the directing is just phenomenal. J. A. Biona uh, did a great job with the action sequences, the directing for basically the entire film. It's just those little characters, um, the little character moments are not enough for them, um, as well as that ending scene. Now, that ending scene, I don't know what they're going to do with the third Jurassic World film, but whatever they do, I hope it's not as bad as this film. So, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is an okay action film. Um, it's not that good of a Jurassic Park film. It's not the worst, but it's definitely nowhere near the best. So, I think you'll have a decent time with this one. Um, but just, just don't go into this film expecting too much. So, I'm going to give Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a C. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify for every video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.